Last week when Springfield Bishop William Byrne announced an updated list of credibly accused individuals, he was joined by Doug Cole, a survivor of sexual abuse. Cole says he wanted to share his story to help others. He sat down with Carolee McGrath and explained how faith played a role in his journey and remarkably led him back to the church. It's, it's empowering to be able to take ownership of the evil that haunted me. Doug Cole walks back into St. Joseph's in Shelburne Falls with his pastor, Father Bill Lunny. It's the very church where he experienced evil at the hands of Richard Levine, the recently deceased and former priest who pleaded guilty in the 1990s to the sexual abuse of minors. In late May, Hamden District Attorney Anthony Galuni announced he was about to charge Levine with the 1972 murder of Danny Croto, a 13-year-old altar boy. All I want to say is I extend my heartfelt sympathy to the family for the anguish that they endured. Um, nobody, nobody deserves it. Cole says Levine abused him when Levine was assigned to St. Joseph's. From the early on days when I was a pre-teenager to uh, when the abuse stopped and the control that continued for years even after the abuse stopped by Richard Levine. There were dark days, there were suicidal days. Cole says it's been a 40-year journey that unbelievably led him back to his home parish and to Jesus, something a lot of people wouldn't understand. My Savior, easy words, my Savior. I'm not saying that I'm not going to have rough days. Those are evident. But ironically, I sit in a church where abuse happened, but it's through my faith and through the guidance that gave me the encouragement through therapy to be able to come and talk to Father Bill back in 2018. I, what a gift. Cole, who spoke about the Holy Spirit and even forgiveness as part of his healing, is also honest about how he says he was treated when he reported the abuse to the diocese in 2018. He says he felt re-victimized. This process for me took a year and a couple of months um, and it was hell on wheels. Last week, Cole joined Bishop William Byrne and Jeffrey Trant, the director of the Office of Safe Environment, at a press conference in which the diocese released an updated list of clergy with a finding of credibility against them. Cole says he's encouraged by improvements made since Trant took over the office, but he also says he'd like to see support groups. There needs to be more prayer, more outreach, prayer services. You know, we should be praying for abuse victims in the prayers of intercession on each and every Sunday forever. He really is an inspiration to me. He's someone that we should listen to, the diocese should listen to, other survivors should listen to, that there is hope, that there's healing available. Doug says he wanted to come forward because he wants to help others who suffered abuse at the hands of the clergy. And he says he wants to let them know that they're not alone. Cole says he's not a victim, but a survivor, and says he feels called to help others. They're not alone. You're not alone anymore. And you have the strength within to be able to tell your story there are people out there that will listen and at some point I may, may be that person that will listen. Anyone who has been abused is encouraged to directly contact law enforcement and the Office of Safe Environment and Victim Assistance on a confidential number 800-842-9055 or email reportabuse at diospringfield.org. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath.